Homelessness, as defined by Webster's Dictionary, having no home or permanent place of residence. But how many individuals in Brandon are actually homeless? That is the answer Michelle Lemoyne is trying to find out, which is why she, along with the Brandon Neighborhood Renewal Corporation, have designed a survey to find out how many people in Brandon do not have a permanent residence. In Brandon, on Wednesday, we're doing a point-in-time count, which is basically a snapshot of um, how many homeless people are currently in Brandon, but mm -hmm. not just not just unsheltered homeless, also couch surfers or people that are just provisionally housed. As a student at Brandon University earning her master's degree in rural development, Lemoyne's thesis is focused on youth homelessness. According to Lemoyne, the purpose of the survey is to get an indication of how many people in Brandon are without a home, why they are without a permanent residence, and how did they become homeless. So volunteers that are going to canvas the community and walk around the streets and talk to people finding out how, trying to find homeless people as well as during the shelters and at uh, the soup kitchen and stuff during the day. 45 volunteers went out Wednesday and walked various neighborhoods in Brandon and asked individuals to fill out a survey which consisted of 16 questions. Christopher Blakey, who works at the 7th Street Health Access Center in Brandon's downtown, wanted to volunteer out of curiosity to find out roughly how many people in Brandon are homeless. When all the numbers come together, I guess we'll know for sure, uh, but probably about 33% of the people we talked to didn't have a permanent place to stay. Lacey Smith went out canvassing on Wednesday because she feels passionate about the issue of homelessness. I can not relate, but it's something that we all need and I find it's, a, it's definitely an important issue and something that needs to be looked at. Collecting information about Brandon's housing situations from a random portion of the city's population is data that according to the Brandon Neighborhood Renewal Corporation has never been collected. Having this information will help understand how much of the Wheat City's population is without shelter. For Westman Newsline with photographer Courtney Dumas, I'm Callie Stefano.